Hello viewer. Welcome to today's episode of Women's View. I'm your host, Anne Morini. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, the handle is GBS TV Kenya. We're also live on Facebook. And in case you want to send us a message, we have an SMS line. The number is 21144. Thank you once again for joining us. Today in the studio, I have got two guests and they're very interesting. We're going to be handling mental health part two. We did part one last week and it was very well received. A lot of times we tend to be very careful with physical health, with spiritual health, but a lot of times we tend to neglect our mental health. So that's why we're here to handle that topic. Uh, so enjoy the show and I want our guests to introduce themselves. Karibuni sana. I start with the lady. Ladies first. Thank you. Yes. My name is Lucy Wansakariuki. I'm a nurse by profession. I'm practicing my nursing services at Kangundo Level 4 Hospital in Machakos County. I am a specialist in community health nursing. And uh, when we talk of community health nursing, we are talking about uh, the wellness of the people. And today, I am honored to be here to continue with the predisposing factors or factors contributing to mental health illnesses. Yes. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Gentlemen, Karibu Sana. Hello, you. I'm Anthony Kariuki, Kari from Kibogo Health Center. I work with the Ministry of Health as a nurse counselor. And uh, at, the, at the ground where we deal with the community at the health center level, we identify mental health cases at early stages and so viewer today we are going to discuss mental health so that we can understand ourselves so that every individual can understand what is happening around and how we can prevent mental illnesses so that we can live a mentally healthy life so that there is no mental health there is no health with no mental health okay welcome so much thank you so much for coming so, you know, I, I, early in the introduction, I said that we, we do a lot to prevent physical illness. Yes. We eat well, we make sure we sleep enough, we exercise, uh, all those things we do for physical health. Spiritual health, sometimes we go to church or we read books to take care of our spiritual self. But sometimes when it comes to mental health, a lot of people tend to do nothing. But uh, that's why we're here, to educate a lot of people, because right now, when you look at our society, it is evident to all that mental health is a challenge for us. And that's why we're here for part two. And today we want to talk about what are the factors that predispose you to mental unwellness. When can you know, or what is it that makes you be not well mentally? Yeah? Yes. All right. So I think we'll start with the lady as usual. Yes. Tell us a little bit uh, about what are some of the factors. Thank you. As you have said, uh, most of the time people forget about the mental health. Yes. But uh, one thing I, I know, one thing I'm sure is that uh, just like any other part of the body, the physical, the spiritual, the psychological, somebody needs to eat well. Yes. You need all the body systems to be healthy. When the mind is healthy, you realize that even the brain is health. It yes. needs energy to do whatever it is doing. So there are so many factors which contribute to mental health illnesses. Mm -hmm. The last time we talked about one, which is part of the biological factors. So there are biological factors, which means about how the body is ma made, mm -hmm. how the body functions. We have the physical factors, the things that we go, we meet day to day. We have the psychological, we have the environmental. So yeah. to start with looking at the physical factors, these are factors that uh, consist of things that we meet day to day life. Yes. For example, you can get an injury that okay. is trauma. Yes. If you get a trauma that is going to affect the head, mm -hmm. that is going to affect the neck, that mm -hmm. is going to affect the back, most of the time you will find that these people get predisposed to mental health illnesses. Oh. Why are we saying those specific parts? Mm -hmm. All the, the body works as a system, yes. the, the hands, the legs, but we are categorically looking at the mental health, yes. the, brain. the brain. Where is the brain contained? It is contained in the head yes. that is where it is enclosed mm -hmm. the, the the brain is the one which controls all the other activities of the body yes. if it is injured 
you can imagine yeah. because it receives a lot of nerves and the nerve impulses. These are the chemical messages which are sent to and out of the brain yeah. to be able to help uh, the body to function well. So when it is injured, what are some of the things that are going to be affected? The reasoning of that person, yeah. the memory of that person, the thinking of that person, the judgment of that person. There are so many things. Mm -hmm. And when you do not have the, the well functioning of these systems, yeah. if you cannot be able to remember, if you cannot mm -hmm. be able to judge wrong or right, yeah. what do I do first, what do I do later, then it is, seems then your mind has been impaired has yeah. been injured. Yeah. That is because of trauma. We have seen the RTS, that is road traffic accidents. Exactly. The, the abuse, you can abuse somebody physically. physically. Yeah. You can fall down. Mm -hmm. All those are going to contribute to that. Yeah. We are also talking about the back and the neck. Yes. This is because the spinal cord contains also nerves yeah. which control the motor that is the functioning of the body mm -hmm. if it is injured the brain has been injured mm -hmm. because they work together both the central nervous system and the spinal cord all of yeah. them work together these are some of the physical things uh, injuries that can cause yes. we are we also have another another factor when it comes to another another item when it comes to physical factors substance abuse and alcohol these yes. are things that i wanted to we that ourselves like you're reading my mind <laughs> yes so you see what are you doing to yourself when you're taking abuse when you're taking alcohol there is a certain feeling you want to induce to your brain yes. you want to feel good you want to suppress a, a, a certain feeling that is hurting you yes. so what are you d really doing to yourself you are intoxicating the brain yeah. you are putting something in extra to mm. control to counteract what you're feeling yes. with another feeling yeah. it continues from day one it becomes you become addicted mm. tomorrow you want a higher dose to get the same feeling yes. this is going to affect your functioning of the brain yeah. because you are making it worse you can't have good judgment the judgment will be impaired you can imagine you are driving a car and you're seeing three roads Instead Atago. of a, uh, what are you really doing? vision, you know? The mind the has mind, been altered. Yes. Mm. That if you continue like that, you get mentally healed. Mm. Another physical factor is the nutrition. What are you eating? There are some there are some apart from the normal diet yeah. there are specific things that we need for the brain mm -hmm. we need the vitamins like the vitamin b's yeah. which are very important when Vitra it comes mm -hmm. to forming something we call the myelin sheet this is the covering of the brain okay. when when the, we lack them it gets uh, scratches mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. does that one tell you you're already sick mm -hmm. because just like the way you have a wound you don't come to work because it is dressed yeah. the same way the brain you c it cannot function well we have also other minerals that like the zinc all these are gotten from the normal diets mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you find that if your body is deficient or you take enough but your body has another problem of absorbing these substances yeah. such that the brain will not receive you are likely to get mental illness wow. that is those are just physical factors and you know what they are so broad yes they're so broad and I can identify with them. Yes. You know, sometimes the reason I'm talking about that is because a lot of times when people hear mental health, mental illness, they think about the madman in the village yes. who just walks around aimlessly. The mad mm. woman sometimes removes their clothes. Yeah. And what that does is it pushes away the problem from yourself. Sure. But the way you've explained it, mm. it really brings it back home to me. Yes. It brings it to my to level. To To let me know yeah. that I can be a candidate yes. for mental illness mm. you know yeah. so uh i don't know what other factors you've talked about the physical factors yes, physical and to give us another type of factor that can result in mental illness mm -hmm. uh, or that affects our mental health yeah we can talk about the same physical in another dimension whereby now we can move to uh, i wanted to bring the discussion discussion back a bit, yes. whereby we are going to look at the physical factors of nutrition mm -hmm. and other physical uh, factors yeah. that can come to this woman. I'm interested with this woman that we see mental illness mm -hmm. and mental health can be determined from conception. Yes, yes. imagine that. Right, back. yeah, right from the time you you pregnant, when you conceived, that is the moment when we can affect our brain. 
Mm. And you can you remember the brain of the infant, the mm. brain of the the, the, the fetus, even the, the fetus. The fetus. They're they're not even an infant yet. It's not <laughs> an infant. It's the yes, fetus. the maternal. Yes. yes. Because let's let's come now to what I read to what she has said okay. the, the the nutrition bit, mm -hmm. and I want them to look at this mother who is uh, who is one week pregnant, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we, we we look at the nutrition uh, effect. Yes. The nutritional effect is that when a mother is pregnant mm -hmm. and it does not observe nutritious diet yes. it leads to mental uh, mental me mental damage yeah. all, all, all the, the, the growth of the, 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 the mind becomes low mm -hmm. or there is impaired development of the mind yes. so you see once you are pregnant once mm -hmm. a woman is pregnant yes. you should put into consideration that whatever you consume whatever you eat also contributes at the end of the day to the well-being of an individual, your child yes. or anybody who's around you. So one, there is one of the minerals that we, that we, we, we give mm -hmm. that is normally given in our clinics that I would like to discuss about so mm -hmm. that you can see how it affects mental health. Okay. The, the, the folic acid. Folic acid. You, yes. you, 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 you've heard every the mother there yes. outside who is, mm. you are, is viewing us is aware about folic acid. Yes. Is aware about phallus sulfate. Those are the two uh, uh, minerals that we give when a mother is pregnant. Yes. In fact, you normally say this uh, mineral should be given even before in preparation of preconception. Preconception uh, pre mm. before. Yeah. Conceiving before conceiving when you when, when you, think you are preparing, preparing when you want to say when, when, when the, uh, a couple comes and say we want now we are preparing to get a child yes. at that particular moment when when you as a mother you want to do away with your family planning and you're waiting for conception yes. you should start using fellas and folic why fellas and folic are key major uh, minerals that mm -hmm. develop the mind of the fetus okay. during development mm. what do I want to say I want to say when a child is in fetal, mm. is that the factors that are there can affect the, the baby. Okay. So let the mother take minerals, mm -hmm. let the mother take zinc. Yes. Zinc can be gotten from grains eh? okay. yeah, and seeds. Mm -hmm. Any fruit with seeds can be there. You can take it okay. and they can help you, like watermelon, uh, oranges. oranges or papaws, yeah. all the seeds. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I don't know that's a fruit all those yeah. they, they can. <laughs> and then when we come to hospital, when we give the supplement, yes. is that we know this supplement, the folic and the ion, mm. are not available uh, to uh, in other in our setup, yes. in the foods that we take. Okay. So take folic, take fellas, so that the brain and the, uh, the mind of your child can yes. be developed from the word go. Yes. Number two, when it, come, when it comes to, 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 to a mother who is pregnant, mm -hmm. another factor that can predispose this mother or that child to mental illness or to mental dysfunction mm -hmm. is stress. Stress, okay. When a mother is pregnant, make sure that when you're pregnant, you know that you are carrying a baby. And that baby now is a human that we are talking about. It's me. Yes. My mother once carried me oh, pregnant. It's, yes. you. it's you. So when so you're carrying your pregnancy, avoid the, 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 the stresses that comes along. Mm. Avoid things that bring depression around you so that you can make your baby grow well and you can develop the, 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 the mind and the mental processes of your child. Yes. Let's look at this mother again when it now comes to giving birth. Okay. We normally call it intrapartum period. Yes. In the pattern period, again, it's a physical factor. Mm. Because this is where the child is coming out. Yes. And during this period of uh, birth, you see that more mothers get trauma. Yes. How do get trauma? You see, there's something we call prolonged labor. Mm -hmm. A mother has, the, the, the labor started, mm -hmm. and it has prolonged for many hours. So you know, yeah. in any labor which is more than 12 hours, it is prolonged. Yes. And why am I coming to this? Is that as even we speak, our country we are moving to, we are, we are a developing country. Yes. And I can, uh, I can also say that the government has done its part. Mm -hmm. Social support, mm -hmm. whereby we have the universal health coverage. Yes. Whereby you walk in maternity free, mm -hmm. 
and you go back home free, there is nothing that is needed. Mm. So we are calling upon you mothers who are at home, don't deliver at, at home. home. Mm. Don't Anybody who is listening to this show, yes, and you are a leader of a group mm -hmm. in, in our slums areas, in our rural areas, yes. let this go, that when you are at home, and then the labor prolongs, this one can cause uh, brain trauma to a child who is unborn. Yes. And this trauma will one day manifest manifest as mental illness. Yeah, illness yeah. So the best thing we can do, let all mothers go to hospital, let okay. them deliver to hospital. Because when the baby, uh, when, when during labor and there is prolonged uh, labor, there is tendency of lack of oxygen. Yes. We call it hypoxia. Mm -hmm. Whereby mm -hmm. the, 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 the brain of the child lacks Lack of oxygen. oxygen. And when now that brain lacks oxygen, there is some, some, uh, some effects yeah. on the brain. Mm -hmm. And those effects on the brain are manifested when the child starts growing. Yes. Basically, that's where you see certain conditions. That's where you see certain conditions. When a child is, mm. is born, we delayed expect... Delayed milestones. Yeah, delayed milestones. When a child is born, we expect the child to respond and cry immediately. Yes. Why am I discussing this? I'm discussing a factor that causes, uh, that, that causes mental, mental illness. That yes. can then be a predisposing factor. Mm. So when you see a child in school, for example, I'm coming back now mm. to the physical factor. When you see a, a child in school, when you see every individual in the community with different abilities. Yes. I said again last time, we should not judge mm -hmm. and say this one is a mental health person. This one, uh, he doesn't behave well, mm -hmm. he, you know, he, he misbehaves everywhere. Yes. The question is, as we are discussing psychology, what could have happened yes. later in life that caused this? So teachers, again, I come to you, mm -hmm. who are dealing with these children. Yes. When the children come to school, the children has no ability to get to what the teacher is saying. Yes. We have discussed about the mental processes. Yes. And when we alter these mental processes, for example, when our child is being born and there is a lot of hypoxia, there's a lack of oxygen, yes. and the, the, the brain is damaged, mm -hmm. that child will manifest back to class with a low IQ. Yes, we're so going to see the effects now. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. look at the, the memory. memory. One, 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 one mental process is the memory. Mm -hmm. yes. When there is uh, brain damage mm -hmm. due to that hypoxia, there will be brain damage. Yes. And that child, when the child comes to you as a teacher, mm. that child will manifest with memory loss. Yeah, you teach something today, you teach them yes. today. tomorrow can't remember. That mm. child cannot remember yeah, what the teacher it. taught yesterday. Mm. And then the teacher starts profiling the children. I know, and maybe exactly yeah. categorizing them categorizing. or putting them in uh, different... You know, and using yeah. words that are not impressive in the child. What mm. you are doing now, that's the reason why I said last time, what you are doing now, you Making are handing an work. insult now to an injury. Yes. Or did a problem was created. Yes. And also you now, you are continuing to, to lower the self-esteem of the child. Mm. So what was I bringing out here? I was bringing out that light from birth, mm. light from conception, in fact, mm. this is a factor that will affect a child, will affect an individual. Yes. There's a child who went, for example, let me give an example which is, I'm not encouraging, mm -hmm. but let me give an example of C. I'm going to do a comparison so that I can bring the, the, the difference I want to come out. Okay. A child who is born of CS mm -hmm. and, and the mother went for an erective CS. That yes. means he went for, for delivery, the, the delivery we call them, you know, I say, opening the, the uterus yes. via the stomach, mm -hmm. uh, the abdomen, and the baby is brought out okay. through surgery. Yes. That is called CS, the serious section. That baby, once he is well, the baby is brought out, there is no strain, there is no struggle. You just get the baby yes. out. In fact, you the do baby, everything. You, <laughs> the, 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 the there baby, is something that's lost. <laughs> yes, the baby breathes very well. That mm. child has no mental trauma. Yeah. That child will score very well. You hear us talking about scoring. Mm. The baby will give scores. Okay. And you see the baby scores very well. So I'm going to compare those two kids. Mm -hmm. The one for the elective CS, CS, the elective CS, and the one who had prolonged labor. Mm. And Emergency CS. Yes, and uh, he, he suffered some brain damage. Mm. Those two kids will be different in class. Mm. 
Really? Those two children will be different in life. Who would have thought that? Honestly, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. ever imagines mm -hmm. that something like that can, can have consequences? Can, can have yes. consequences mm -hmm. over that. So, yeah. so those are the factors. I wanted to just add about physical factors, mm -hmm. which I thought it was important that we understand that since conception mm -hmm. will determine our mental health. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay, that's very good, and it's very broad, and it really ropes in all of us. Sure. It also makes all of us realize that we have a role to play mm. in the mental health development of our children, yeah. who will then later become adults. Yes. Because sometimes we don't think that we are responsible, and so we blame the person who is now exhibiting the mental health yeah. issues yeah. or the mental illnesses, mm. forgetting that so many things and so many people may have contributed eh? yeah. Yeah. for sure indeed that you are actually are like you are um when you when you're a person you so many factors have contributed to, to you being the way you are yes. you know? yes. mm. you're like mm. an end product of so many things mm. so i think we've talked about the physical factors yeah. and those are broad yeah. yes um are there any other factors which are not physical maybe that also lead to mental health issues yeah the mm -hmm. other factors, okay. we also have the biological factors. This is how we are made. Okay. And this is something you cannot judge, you cannot, uh, you cannot avoid, mm -hmm. because is that is like how DNA? you are. Yes, okay. because that is how you are created. Yeah. That is how things happened, as he was saying. Yes. He, maybe some things lacked during prenatal period yes. or uh, during the the formation of the human person yes. that made you to be what you are. So it's a congenital, you are born like that. You are born like mm -hmm. that. And these factors will include like hormonal factors, the hormones that you are born with, and mm -hmm. these are chemical substances which act like messengers yes. in the brain. Okay. So when you were being born, you will realize that there is what we call the, the DNA formation mm -hmm. and which contributes to the human person. Yes. You know in the body we have these two T they are called nucleic acids, that is the RNA and the DNA. Yes. And the DNA is the one which carries the genetic material of the person. Yes. So during the formation, you will find that people of, of certain families will be predisposed to mental thinking, illness because yeah. their genetic mapping mm. took a certain course during their time. Yeah. And you know, you cannot judge, I am from this family. You what didn't even choose, you just yes. found yourself there, you know? You just found yourself mm. there. This can also be contributed by, as you say, as we said, nutrition. Yes. Because DNA formation and its progress up to the time the cells are made. Yes. There are things that are needed, okay. like the folic acid, as we said. Mm. The folic acid, the vitamin Bs, are mm. very important during the DNA formation. Mm. You will realize that if you lack these substances, you will find that there are babies who are born, and uh, you find the spinal cord is protruding at the back. Yes. There was no full coverage of the skin. Mm -hmm. It is outside the, the spinal cord. And you will realize that those are things that can affect the mental okay. health status of a person. So we are really insisting. When you're given these supplements in the hospital, yes. when you're being told to take a lot of fruits and vegetables, vegetables yeah. milk, mm -hmm. water, Kindly, we advise people, please do. The, the, some of these things are free. There is a reason. You, you find like, uh, you can just get an orange, yes. a 10 bob. Yes. You can get a, a banana. You yes. can get, you don't like have a whole bunch of budget but to go and yeah. take 10 shillings vegetables. Yes. Don't overcook them. Mm -hmm. Just cook a bit, slightly. slightly yes. And you'll find that it is helping a lot. Mm -hmm. Another gene uh, biological, biological factor is the personality. Okay. The way you are born, mm -hmm. the way you are. Yeah. What defines me as Lucy, what mm. defines you as Anne. Yes. That is your personality. Okay. You will find that some personalities are highly predisposed to, to mental certain. illness. And you know, when you say to mental illness, I think you mean to certain mental illnesses. Because mental illnesses are many. Broad, yes. So there are certain personalities which are more prone to depression. Yeah. There are yes. some which are prone mm. to Alzheimer's. Sure, there are sure, some sure. which are prone to... It's not 
mental illness is not one thing. It's not one. Yeah. There are so many. Okay. Even for stable, postnatal, <laughs> postpartum depression. Depression. There are certain personalities yes. that are predisposed. Post-traumatic stress disorder. You see, okay. all this will affect some people. Yes. Kuna mtu atafiwa leo and that is forgotten. Yeah. There are those people will die today and forever they will die the following year. I know. Forever this, it's like they'll yes. never get over the grief. Yes. Yeah, because their personality is predisposed to to not being able to deal well with that. Yes, no. we are also okay. talking about the paranoid kind of personality. Yes. There are people who will always be suspicious. Yes. Why are they talking in about low tones? Me. Are they talking about me? Mm. Your boss calls you. Could I, you start doing a lot of mathematics. Mm. Where could you have gone wrong? Yeah. So when these people become become overwhelmed and you find that now their mind is sick. Yes. They become that kind of pa pa paranoid uh, kind of uh, stress. Yes. And you realize these are the people you find if they are mentally ill and you find them on the road. Mm -hmm. The first thing they will be suspicious. They can even eat you because they think you are coming to kill them. Yes. Because mm. the, that is the personality they had <laughs> before they got <laughs> sick. You realize there are people who are withdrawn. Oh, yes. So depression will be part of them. Yeah. You're withdrawn, you don't want to talk, other people don't matter to you. There are others which people don't think they're mental health disorders. Yes. There mm. are others who we call them the grandiose. People always, they want to associate with the president. They want to associate with big, big people, thing. big television. Mm -hmm. That is mentally, being mentally ill. Mm -hmm. And we are, t you, as you have said, there are so many. There we have so many sexual types. disorders. Mm -hmm. You realize like there are men, they want to go with babies. There are, there, mm -hmm. are, there are people who just want to, you, you find yourself, every time you go to sleep, you want to sleep with a puppy. Mm -hmm. Why? Or, or, or a doll. Mm -hmm. That is also a disorder. Mental yeah. disorder. Me, me, being mentally ill doesn't only mean that you are throwing stones on the road. Mm. You can be very well you as you are. We are here, mm. we look mm. very well, but I am very mentally ill. Mm. How will you realize? Because you will realize there are so many things that are not in order with yeah. such a person. The other kind of, uh, of, um, of uh, biological factor as we have also said, is the hormones. The hormones. Yeah. They are the hormones. hormones play are and we are said that they are chemical messengers yes. in the body. You realize that when some hormones are not okay, yes. for example, you can also think of the thyroid gland. Yes. The thyroid gland produces the thyro thyroid hormones. Mm -hmm. So if there are imbalances of this, mm -hmm. you will realize you are at work and somebody is just very busy, very busy, very busy. They can't rest. Mm -hmm. Do you think that person is normal? Mm -hmm. They don't even have time to eat. They lose a lot of weight yeah. yes as much as it is thyroid problem mm -hmm. it will make you look like you you have mental illness yeah. so yeah. these hormones the growth hormone if you do not grow well mm. you will realize that there you know growth hormone controls so many other hormones in the body yeah. so you realize if we do not have we have imbalances of this hormone if mm. we look at there is an hormone we call serotonin if it is impaired you get depression okay. that is why you will get you are getting serotonin type of drugs mm -hmm. so that they can be able to balance to increase the yes so mm -hmm. the, the the genetic makeup of a person yeah can predispose this person to to, to mental, mental illness. Yeah. Before I leave that point, I also wanted to highlight on something you said. There is, uh, we have gotten uh, children with mental health illnesses mm -hmm. because of their parents, oh. because of the father, because of the mother, because of the relatives when it comes to cesarean section. Okay. You know before you undergo a surgical procedure, you are supposed to give a consent. Yes. Then you realize people will say no. We want to pray. And you will find them there cursing demons and trying to bind. <laughs> Seriously, we don't underrate God. But when it comes to some things, we really advise. Please, if you are advised by your doctor, up to this moment, we have tried, we have waited. It is not working out. The baby seems, the mother seems. Kindly just give the consent. Let us help. The baby might come, might come out at last. Yes. But, but there will be birth 
injuries mm. because we have really suffered in our maternity wards whereby you realize people are not going to give consent exactly and you they know don't want to consent you don't want because to they consent. want to pray or they want to delay they feel like if they consent there's a fear of what if something happens yes and that delay all mm. it does is mm. predispose the newborn yes to mental health illnesses later in life yes i don't know anthony can you talk us a little bit about multiple births because when it comes to moms and maybe you have twins or you have triplets, yeah. can you give birth to them normally or is it advisable? You know, because even if the first one comes yeah. out, the second one, will they be uh, disadvantaged? Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, that one is going to draw us back again to look at a mother who is pregnant. Yeah. I'm going to give the guidelines of the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. concerning uh, multiple pregnancies, yes. whereby the mo multiple pregnancy First of all, I put it categorically, even before I answer, is that any multiple pregnancy should be delivered via CS. Okay. That is the way. That is the guideline that is by the Ministry guideline of Health. And that is mm. what we practice. Mm. Okay. So the, the, now, where, w when I wanted to, when, uh, the reason why I want to come back to a pregnant woman, mm -hmm. we are advising this pregnant woman to go for the clinics at least four times. Four times yeah. The four times, the mm -hmm. four antenatal clinics. Yes. Because this at, the, at the, f uh, the first antenatal clinic and the second and we are able now to identify that this mother has got twins. Yes. He, he has multiple pregnancies. And if we okay. don't, if we, if we, if we, if we, we want to really diagnose without doubt, we yes. send the mother for uh, ultrasound yes. scanning. Mm -hmm. So w what am I saying? I'm saying that all mothers should start their antenatal clinics early. Yes. So that now we can identify, we can diagnose multiple pregnancy, hurry, so that during delivery, there is, in Kenya, we, we, we are encouraging, and it is in the guidelines that all pregnant, uh, multiple pregnancies should be delivered through CS. CS. To avoid that stress. To avoid, uh, now, you know, what happens with the multiple mm -hmm. pregnancy? When the children are in neutral, yes. and there are two, mm -hmm. there, are, mm, there are many positions that they acquire. Yes. They acquire, they can acquire a position whereby this child is uh, lying uh, upward and mm -hmm. the other down one, and we are now th they can go to a point where by the head they can lock each other. Mm -hmm. And they, they, in the process, you end up losing the two of them. Okay? Yeah, sure. You can have one presenting with a bridge, mm -hmm. other, the other one with a head, yes. and then you, you, you see the one presenting with a bridge has caused more challenges, yes. and also you mm -hmm. suffer what we are calling hypoxia, mm -hmm. that is loss of oxygen, yes. and now you have the. the the brain injury yes. due to lack of oxygen. Exactly. So we are saying that all mothers mm. should deliver in hospital. And why am I insisting on this one? I'm saying universal health coverage and beyond zero campaign yes. has brought all these things to us. It is That's free. Close, sure. Go to hospital, mm. deliver your multiple pregnancy, mm. deliver your twins via CS, and you save your child from suffering the, 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 the brain injuries, exactly. which could cause mental problems later in, later in life. life. Sure. Thank you so much. We need to take a break. Okay. And, you know, it's so amazing that I'm even wondering, are we discussing pregnancy or are we discussing <laughs> mental health? But we are discussing mental, mental health, health. Because yes. that's where it starts. Mm. Yes. It starts way, way back. Yes. Yes. And it means that it's a responsibility. When, you're con when you conceive, immediately think about the mental health of the sure. child. If, mm. Even if you're the man, encourage your wife or your partner yeah. to get all these things. Because yeah you're concerned about the mental health of your baby. Yes. So viewer, keep it right here. We'll be right back after this short break.
Welcome back, viewer. Today we're talking about mental health and we're looking at the factors that lead to mental health illness or mental unwellness. So we've talked about biological, we've talked about physical, and I think you want to wrap up a little bit about the, the when, you know, we've taken it way back yes. to when mm -hmm. the child is, is being born, even before they are born. Mm -hmm. You wanted to add something about the drugs that the mother, the pregnant mother takes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in, in the third factor, which we already tackled a bit of it, which is a prenatal life yeah. and the maternal health during pregnancy. So the mother might be sick. Mm. For example, with specific diseases, for example, the rubella virus yes. and also cancer, for example. And when this mother is sick, because of uh, the, the weight of the disease, yes. it can affect even the fetus. Okay. Because the mother and the fetus are inseparable. Yes. There is what we call the, the fetal barrier, mm -hmm. where the placental barrier, where there is exchange of the mother and the baby, mm -hmm. and which also filters what enters to the baby. Yeah. But uh, some viruses are too mighty, oh, too, too, to ma too minute, mm -hmm. such that they can be able to penetrate. Okay. And once they reach the baby, they affect specific areas. Mm -hmm. And okay. most of the organs that they affect is the brain. Okay. So when the brain is affected, in future when this person grows, mm -hmm. you will realize that there are so many, as we have said, mental illness is not only those people are on the road alone. Yeah, in fact, I think we should just even, the next thing is just to talk about the various types. To, yes. To, 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 to break yes. down that. Mode. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you realize that uh, the such conditions of the mother can yeah. affect the baby. Yeah. In future, this person will be having mental health abnormalities. Yeah. So you realize there is also the drugs that the mother takes yes. when the mother is pregnant. Mm -hmm. That is why we encourage our mothers, please avoid over-counter drugs. Yeah. Please avoid consultation over the phone. Yeah. I am feeling this and this, I'm pregnant, Good then right. a prescription is given to you. Mm -hmm. You just take, you cannot verify. Yeah. This person is not responsible for your medication. Okay. There are drugs, I've seen children who are born by mothers who were on specific drugs yeah. that they were told by their doctors, kindly if you want to get pregnant, consult me. And mm -hmm. they, they overrule. Mm. They just go take. You realize that the babies cannot be able to speak mm -hmm. at the age of three years, mm -hmm. cannot be able to remember some things at the age of three years, cannot mm. be able to recognize the relatives and mm -hmm. the strangers in the family. Yeah. So you realize this is also another mental disorder which came as a result of drugs yes. because as we said previously we are talking about the dna yes. very sensitive thing yes. that can be affected during the first one month of pregnancy okay. whereby there is a lot of cell division mm -hmm. so the cells are going to divide abnormally yes. when they divide abnormally abnormal brain abnormal legs abnormal head abnormal everything okay. so the drugs that the mother takes when she's pregnant mm -hmm should be given at the antenatal clinic. Yes. We know we have so many consultants okay. in this hospital, in this country. Mm. Aga Khan, you we go. even have Google. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you go there, these people are not midwives. Yeah. These people do not understand a lot when it comes to care during pregnancy. Yeah. You go, you pay a lot of money, but mm. you do not get the antenatal care. Yeah. Kindly, we urge people, just go to antenatal clinic. Mm. Even if you will take a whole day, to we be think, able yeah. to be served, it okay. is only one day in a month. Yes. Kindly, we advise our mothers, our children, our sisters, please go to antenatal, antenatal clinics. clinics. That yeah. is where you can get the best care when you are pregnant. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I totally, totally, I am with, on board now yes. because I can see how far back Yes. Mental health starts. Mental health issues don't start when you're a teenager. Yes. They don't start when you're a young adult. Yes. They don't start when you're stressed in the office and mm. by your family mm. and friends. Mm. Yes. They start when you're in your mother's womb. Yes. You know, that's where they can, a lot of things can be controlled by that level. Sure, sure. So, um, another thing that we need to talk about briefly is um, what are some of the indicators that there's that there are mental health challenges? Of course, there are those obvious ones. Mm. When, we, when a child is not meeting their milestones, not speaking, not talking, not sitting, but uh, what are the others that maybe we need to be alert? Because to be honest, some of these things do happen. Yeah, is that the end? 
uh, there are, let's start as you have said we start uh, briefly mm. from a child who is uh, in class yes. and as a child is able is not able to make judgments mm. when to go for a short call yeah. you see the, the, the child is uh, messing on herself mm -hmm. or himself that an indication that there is something that is not happening yes. if you see anybody from children to adults withdrawing themselves withdraw they don't want to interact with people S somebody is staying indoors mm -hmm. all through yeah. he is alone L they are called lone lingers yes. and doing his own things that person also it's an indicator that there is something and these indicators can lead us to know how to help these people yeah. again the other thing is that uh, what we call hyperactivity mm -hmm. there's a uh, even from childhood there's a, a, a condition we call hyperactive disorder of a child whereby you see a child is doing a lot of things uh, he has a lot of energies right yeah. from the word go yeah. and uh, even in class he, he wants to do a lot he is interested with other things on top of the class and, and uh, standing on top of the table, yeah, on, on the table, table. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, this is an indicator as a teacher <laughs> that there could be something happening with with a kid yeah. and we don't know even as now as adults yeah. if you somebody who is very hyperactive mm. you, you you realize that you had somebody around you and all of a sudden he's doing uh, very heavy duties and then the next day you meet him competing with a, a vehicle on the road right. and he has that energy to compete with the vehicle mm. that tells you this person is getting out of hand something is wrong mm. uh, there is an indicator that things are not happening and uh, to be honest it's very yeah. easy to identify those cases they're there mm. because they are very those are physical manifestations yes. mm. but now question yes when i as the mother i as a teacher see the child is like that what is should be my next step because what a lot of us tend to do is to accept them the way they are and do nothing if anything we try and correct that behavior by being strict putting rules mm. trying to like that yeah. is that the right approach or is there something that we should do next to investigate further or to confirm what should be the next step now that is uh, the reason why now we are coming in yes now to this show so that now we are able now to say what you should do. Mm. Because when you see a child, when you see an individual around you yeah. who has some indicators that he could be having some mental challenges, mm -hmm. mental you know, in fact, we are changing it from mental illness to mental challenges. Yeah, challenges is better. Mm. Everybody is getting mm -hmm. mental challenge. Yes. Uh, is, is that when you, you identify mm -hmm. that a child has some abnormal behaviors around you in class as a parent mm -hmm. what you should do you should first of all seek health care okay because in every 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 for example let me speak because of the the the, the, the low the, the low economic status of the people who are living in rural areas yes. and slums and the less eh? yes. every level four hospital in our country kenya has got a mental health clinic a mental clinic okay every level five has got a mental clinic mm. there are some other outreaches that are normally conducted yeah. and you also when you go to the nearest facility mm. within you yes. the elder workers there are able to help you so when you identify that a, a, a child an individual has started having uh, behaviors that are uh, mm. suspicious or indicating that there is some mental challenge mm. go and seek health care okay. go to the nearest facility and then from there now the elder worker will take it from there so that you can identify what is it. Yes. Could it be could, could, could it be autism in children? Mm. Could it now be depression in adults? Mm. Could it be schizophrenia? Because Pengin already when you see somebody starting picking picking uh, around papers mm. around you, might be the growth hormone or uh, the the dopamine, the hormones we are talking about, mm. there might be a cause which could be a, a, a condition and disease, mm. like a tumor in mm. the brain. And it has changed all of a sudden. Mm. Somebody has started uh, picking uh, papers around, mm. and then we label we are to America. You see, now we have missed. Mm. We have missed. When you see somebody collecting, we've, we've done it. Mm. Yeah, we call them bizarre behaviors. Yes, yeah. those behaviors of collecting papers and calling them. Mm. We we just say, ah, yeah. that's my kwa mekula vitu za zenyewe. Mm -hmm. Which with no action. action. Which and guess what? With it's no time for our action. parting shot. It's yes. time for our parting shot because time is not in our side. Yeah. So. so yeah, let's wrap up. So we're saying that when you see anybody with behaviors that are abnormal mm. around you, may it be a child, 
may let it be an adult. Mm -hmm. Let that person visit an health facility and investigations will be done and then a clear diagnosis will be given. You'll be given so that now as we come next, you'll be able now to look at now this condition. Yeah. The doctor will tell you now this is the problem. Mm -hmm. This is the condition. It is depression, it is mania, it is autism in children and we are going to give this medication. Okay. And now we shall be specifying the medication once we come okay. on how to handle a specific condition. If Thank it is you. depression, yeah. if we if we identify a depression case, there is a way is a to way handle out. that depressed mm -hmm. patient. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Lucy, please give us your parting shot. Okay, what I would like to say, viewers, as my parting shot, is that uh, mental health is a community problem, is a problem for everybody. Sometimes those who are having the cases may not realize them. Some of us might have experienced the same in the past in our families with our friends. If you realize that your friend, your colleague, or even a family member has a mental health disorder, or as a child, or a relative with such a problem, or let me call it the mental health challenge, challenge. kindly share to them. They might not realize. We usually say that in our cultural language that wh whoever has a problem may not see it mm -hmm. because for example like a first time a mother may not realize might think this is how babies are but if you are you have an experience of how children behave you can also help such children so what i'm saying is that uh, it is all about the families that we stay in we realize there are people who have behaved badly in the past and they have changed it is us to change the attitude towards them so that we might not push them even to some of the problems which we call mental health disorders or problems like suicide mm. because we've seen people commit suicide because they are rejected in their family people commit suicide because they've given birth to children who are mentally ill so let us embrace that just like there any other part of the body can become sick even the mind can become sick the most important thing is to seek help and once you seek help and you're given treatment follow the treatment the way it is yes. it may be long term it may be short term mm -hmm. there is also the family therapy it is the duty of every family to support its own members and members of the neighboring family and that's how we build the network of being champions of mental health amen that sounds like such a good rap, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how we have strong communities, yes. strong societies. Yeah. Yes. We really have to look out mm -hmm. for yes. each other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'd like you to give a sh parting shot also, Anthony, a brief one. A brief one is that yes. uh, once we realize who we are, once we understand our mental status, once everybody is able to identify the, 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 the gaps in our mental status, we have a healthy community, we will have healthy families. Remember that all the way we cannot have an healthy community without an healthy family, without an healthy individual. It's all about us, it's all about you as an individual. So let's focus on mental health, let's understand these factors that contribute to mental health so that we can at least work upon them and try to eliminate these cases. Our country is developing yeah. and we are seeing that the government Okay. and uh, other partners are working to us, helping us, so that okay. even the, the, stressing, the stressing moment and conditions as our environment can okay. be so Sorry, I have to interrupt you, time yeah. is up. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye, thank you.